There we go. Let's mow. Not bad. Not bad at all. Well done, Frankenstein. You can tell the South African spring is back. Goeiemiddag, mense. It's now like a warm buiten vandaag. I have mowed the lawn. That's the good. The lawn looks fantastic. I didn't mow last weekend because I got a bit sick. So we two weeks ago, Saturday, two weeks ago, I mowed this down to six millimeters, measured at six millimeters. I did a couple of passes. Before mowing today, it was at 30 millimeters, which means over two weeks, it grew 24 millimeters. And that means 12 millimeters about per week. And that obviously comes from the use of Novatec NMAX out here. The spring application was quite a big dose. Put it down, I've watered it twice in two weeks. So the day that I put this down, and again, like four or five days later, and then not again. So it's been about, man, I wanna say a week to maybe 10 days since I last watered this. Anyway, that's the good. The bad is that even though the LM has started to take down here after the fertilizer application, I think it's probably the first time I've ever fertilized down here, is that uh, I moved the sprinklers to against this fence line. Obviously I haven't finished painting it yet, but ignore that. The sprinkler used to be down here, which means that it used to get much further down there. You can tell where I'm going with this. <laughs> the sprinkler now over there, even though that guy can throw 15 meters, it doesn't get down into that corner. In fact, it doesn't even get to over here, and that's why this grass over here looks mostly green and that all over here is like a real pale color. In fact, when we look at it closely, this is the LM of course, it is nice and crispy and that is just water. So if your LM looks like this, never mind the dogs, if your LM looks like this, it is just because of water. Of course, it could also mean that you are in a region that's a little bit colder than where I am here in Pretoria and your LM just hasn't woken up yet. It is a tropical grass, it likes warmer temperatures. And now for the ugly. The ugly is that I planned to grow in some weeds <laughs> that were, that had started uh, growing from whatever was falling out of this flower bed along this wall and uh, I wanted to grow them in so that I could show you a little bit of a weed video because this lawn, if you didn't believe me, has been pretty weed free for like a year. It hasn't had just about anything growing through and I believe that's because of good general maintenance practices. Not that, not because I used a pre-emergent, which I didn't, or because I was regularly applying post-emergents in the background. I didn't put anything down for like a year. And that is excellent, really good going and it proves proper maintenance is key. Anyway, those weeds with me taking a, a nice short six millimeter mow onto this lawn and exposing the canopy just a little bit it meant that the weeds that could take a gap in the two weeks that i took off did take a gap and now it is full house i don't know if you can see it besides some of the long grass i've got a monstrous amount of oxalis growing there i've got gallon soldiers all sorts of different broadleafs all over the place luckily no sedges again after that serbian application last year all the sedges are gone so probably in the next video or two i'm gonna to have to do a post-emergent herbicide application back here i should be doing some kind of an insect control application but i'm not going to you you guys if you watch my videos you know that i don't like using poisonous stuff for the sake of using it i know we all like our lawns but i'm not i'm not really a lawn snob i'm a lawn enthusiast but i can't really say lawn snob so because of that i'm not gonna to go to all those extents just to make some videos i want to look after my lawn in a kind of uh, lazy man's way and i think a lot of you guys do too and that all comes down to proper maintenance mowing watering and fertilizing properly is what will help you with your lawn this season anyway i'm going to end the video at that because it doesn't have to be a long one i just wanted to get a mow in because i haven't mowed in two weeks and i had done a sculp and you never want to sculp your lawn and then leave it for too long because all that effort of sculping has gone to waste. You need to get into your lawn, into regular mowing straight after you sculp, 
and I didn't do that. So this was me attempting to bring myself back up to a proper maintenance schedule. Anyway, I hope you found that useful. Please remember to like, subscribe, and the next video or two, we'll start doing some weed control. Cheers.